trademark smile is unmistakable. The President of the United States of America in person, or at least as a waxworks figure here at Madame Tussauds Berlin branch. Barack Obama is hugely popular in Germany, and indeed across Europe, and he can look forward to a warm welcome during his visit to Europe at the start of April. But there have been concerns about why his trip to Germany will be so brief. I think some in the U.S. administration have not forgotten how the CDU leader and the chancellor, with all due respect, behaved toward him in Berlin shortly before the presidential election. Angela Merkel and Barack Obama are believed to be on very good terms. But his visit to Berlin last July prompted a debate over where he would be allowed to speak in public. Merkel declared the Brandenburg Gate off-limits, so Obama addressed the crowds from the foot of the victory column. And the change of landmark did not stop it becoming a landmark speech. But with the red carpet being rolled out for Obama's first visit to the country as US president, protocol issues again seem to be causing consternation among his hosts. How much time will Obama be spending with Merkel, and how much with other leaders? Details of protocol always carry a certain weight and the media pay attention to them. Symbolic politics are important, even if there's little substance involved. The itineraries of politicians, especially when they're fresh in office right after their election, are always of interest. But there are plenty of really important issues on the agenda. NATO is looking for a more effective strategy for Afghanistan, with the main question being who is to assume which responsibilities. There have also been calls for a plan which would coordinate military strategy and civil reconstruction. If we look at the NATO summit, Afghanistan is the principal, one of the principal issues of four issues there. And uh, it is very much what the Germans and the Europeans have been asking for for a number of months, namely a, a joint formulation of a civilian military strategy for engagement in Afghanistan that goes beyond pure military engagement. How much more can we really ask for? Um, from the German point of view. But Afghanistan is not the only issue which the Germans and Europeans are eager to discuss with the US. Other new challenges range from terrorism to climate change. Neither the US nor Europe can master these challenges alone. Today, there's no country that can solve these problems on their own. This has to be the basis of our cooperation. The global financial crisis is probably the greatest challenge at the moment, however, and the biggest test for relations between the US and Europe, especially Germany. With stocks plummeting and banks going out of business, it's a case of each country putting its own interests first and expecting more from its partners. Either we manage to intensify our joint activities, which will stabilize transatlantic relations and strengthen our position towards other parts of the world, or we drift apart from each other. This will mean substantial negative consequences in economic and financial policy, with negative repercussions for international relations. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. All eyes were on Barack Obama when he took his oath of office, not just in the U.S., but throughout the world. He's had little time to fulfill the hopes placed in him, but already there have been indications of the much-promised change. I think the Obama administration is doing a lot in terms of its uh, strategic review on Iran, Afghanistan, shutting down Guantanamo, cooperating on um, the uh, financial rescue package. You know, but it goes beyond that. We are in a new uh, strategic landscape, and we have to rid ourselves of old ways of thinking and sit down together and kind of soberly assess the environment and come up with new ways to cooperate. Here at Madame Tussauds in Berlin, Visitors can go back in time. Ich bin ein John F. Kennedy's famous Berlin speech. Ronald Reagan's joint appearances with then Chancellor Helmut Kohl. And now Barack Obama, continuing what is a special relationship between presidents of the United States and the German people.